I myself, however, have never read the Bible, nor the Quran, nor any other religious text that uh, says, uh, claims a lot of, uh, has very scientific, unscientific claims in it. But I, I also know a lot of religious people who believe all these crazy claims, who have never read the texts. So my question is, does one really need to have read those texts uh, to be in one or the other category? And what do you think will happen in the future when we have virtual reality and crazy entertainment which would make people less likely to read the, the books that sounds like what was 100 or 1,000 years ago? Okay, that, that's two questions that may not necessarily be in the same. Who, who wants this? Well, well, do, just, do you need to read the holy yeah, books? No, I mean, clearly people are getting their religious worldview from more than just the books. And there are, as you say, there are people who might even be fundamentalist in their religion who are, are pretty unschooled in what it's actually in the text because they're getting it in church or, or synagogue or mosque. Uh, I think it's in the U.S. Uh, you might know this better than I do, but it's something like 50% of the population can't say who delivered the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, that's impressive in a country where 83% are sure that Jesus rose from the dead and will be coming back to earth. So uh, there's, a, there's a mismatch there. But I, I think it's, it, it's useful to read the books because it's not, so much what's, it's not so, so much all the bad things that are in the books, from my point of view. It's all the good things that aren't in the books that an omniscient being definitely would have put in there. I mean, that's, that's the deal breaker as far as uh, the, 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 the credence given to the claims of, of revelation. It would be so easy to write a better book than any of these books, especially if you were omniscient. And there's just, there's nothing in there that demands uh, an omniscient God as, as author. Yes, I, I was going to say um, the, 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 the best cure for religion would be to read the holy books. But, but, um, but Sam kind of preempted that. Um, mm -hmm. and, to, and, to, um, and, and, ju and just to, to cap the, the, the story about the Sermon on the, on the Mount, uh, my British foundation, British, uh, the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science, did a survey uh, of in 2011, immediately after the census, the week after the census, we took just the people who ticked the Christian box in the what is your religion. So these are people who self-identify as Christian. And, among the, and we gave a, a, an, a, an opinion poll for these people. And among the questions was, can you name the first book of the New Testament? And we only gave a choice of four, Matthew, Acts, Genesis, and Psalms. I think only uh, somewhere in th around 30%, I was 39% of the people who ticked the Christian box were able to identify Matthew as the f first book of the mm -hmm. New Testament. Um, so they don't read the Bible, and I think it actually would be rather a good idea if, if they did. <laughs>